So in today's video, I've got a couple of major Gemini updates for you. Number one is inside of Gemini's or Google's AI Studio, you can now build apps with Gemini, and I'm pretty sure it's unlimited token usage. So we'll go through a few of these examples today. And then also on Google Gemini, so when you come to just normal Google Gemini, you'd normally select Canvas here, so to get that tools, Canvas. And from here, you can build out websites. So here's an example one here. You have the code, the preview. We'll talk more through it in a minute. But basically, the big updates here are that we have this little thing you'll see. Now, there's two new features. Number one is you can add Gemini features, i.e. implement the Gemini API key in here, but let AI decide how it should, should be added in. Or you have this here, which is select and ask, where you can then select a portion of the screen and you can ask Gemini something about it which is pretty cool. So what? We'll check this out and we'll see, we'll compare it um, to a real website builder because if you notice on the channel, we cover a bunch of different toolings. For example, we have here Duolite and Duolite is to build out websites. Now, when I'm using tools like this, like Gemini's native one now, I'm thinking, does this mean that all of the rest don't matter? Well, I think they do because I think that um, they enhance the specifics around the features that they need for the platform. We'll get more into it as we go on because it's hard to explain without showing you and spoiler alert. So anyway, let's start with Google AI Studio. So now when you come to AI Studio, which is where you would go to get your API key, you can see that they've changed stuff up quite a little bit. There's a few other features here that will be worth making videos on. But today we're going to talk about build. So on the left hand side, we go to build. And here you can now build apps with Gemini inside of AI Studio. Now, they have a bunch of different showcase examples here. So, for example, they have like a cricket game, which we'll go check out. We have a da -da 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 -da, bana bana bananami, 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 I think it's bananami. Anyway, that's the one you will see in here, which is like turning stuff into a GIF which is pretty cool, um, and a bunch of other stuff, and you can just make your own apps here as well, so like Recipe Generator using Gemini, and you could even do something like use Nano Banana for images of each ingredient and recipe, and it will just run that, we'll send that in, and it'll go away and think and start actually doing this, so whilst that's working, we will go and I'll show you some of the examples, so here of course is Banana Mate, so if we go to edit, what we can do is we can select a bunch of different things and then animate a little picture we can take of ourselves. So let me scroll that one out. We'll open the camera and we'll take a new picture. Boom. And that's going to banana animate it with, I think, whatever's in the box. Let's see. It's pretty cool. I'm actually pretty impressed. Can we change this to mobile instead? There we go. <laughs> Eyes popping out. Let's say that actually. Let's instead do one of these. What are these? Flower up the scene. Let's see what flowing up the scene looks like. But yeah, as you can see, you can change this between mobile, tablet, or just current screen size for like website, which is really quite cool. Um, and obviously, this is the preview mode. There we go. <laughs> What's happening here, man? Uh, we can export this GIF as well. So there we go, download it. We can share it. So create an actual link. No way. Let's see. Oh, no, it creates, it exports it to then share it. But that's pretty cool. And then you can have the code here as well. And as you can see, the code is like a fully-fledged website. Let me get rid of this. Which is cool, because what we can do is we can obviously edit the code natively, but we can download the app, so download all the code. We can copy the app, so we can use this as a base for another app. But we can also save it to GitHub. So we can actually connect this up to GitHub so that all your code is stored in there. Additionally, we can deploy the application, share the application, and switch to API key. So if we click on deploy, you can see you go and select a new project or create one. And then from here, once you've set up billing and stuff, you can then deploy the app, which has been one of my critiques before with like Firebase Studio and stuff. Whenever you try to actually use any of these apps, you have to then use Google's cloud, but you have to sign up for it, which is, you know, a bit frustrating, whereas like, for example, and this isn't an ad for Duolite, it's just the one that came to mind, is like for that, they use Netlify, which is free. So there's one example. Another cool example was um, Paint a Place. So you can just look somewhere up. Um, 
we'll go uh, London Bridge or something. And then you can go here, and you can move around. Let me change this here to wherever you want. And then create a watercolor based on this image. Um, and again, this is using Nano Banana under the hood, which is, you know, really impressive. So let me see, create the masterpiece again. There we go, boom, which is just what we're looking at. I think there's that the shard. Um, but yeah, really, really quite cool, man. Um, and it's just having that ability to integrate it in uh, Nano Banana, which just makes it so good. So not only can it do that, but it can also make games. So here's an example as a game with audio. Listen to this. Are va! What a start! That's a boundary! A cracking shot for four! Sensational shot! Right out of the middle of the bat for more runs! And there you go. So this commentator is actually coming from... Another one! This is incredible batting! The pressure is on, but they are responding! Right, that's enough. But that's actually coming from the API, which is pretty cool. So it can make games as well, and it can also use your microphone so you could use this for like you know create your own custom service bots or something right that kind of idea as well so for example here let's take some notes da 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 da, -da la -di da -di da this is a note taken up and then it will get the transcription and so you can think here that you can use this like as a basis to then can i paste in a youtube video or something i don't know or can i just upload files instead there you go this is a note I'm taking up. Not what I said, but hey. There we go. That's kind of what I said. <laughs> um, I did try to make my own app here, a little auto tune app. It wasn't working, so I've tried to get it to keep, um, I don't know, maybe five times to try and get it to run. So we'll try it one more time. Auto tune. And there we go. Hopefully now it will auto tune my voice. That's the idea. So we'll see how it goes. Um, and then after this, we'll go and look at the AI implementation in the actual Gemini. Yeah, there we go. It's great. It's producer notes, but it doesn't actually have anything to play. So, again, the things I always find with this, examples are really good. and practice, not so good. So anyway, another example we have here is I just used normal Gemini, so just like this here with Canvas, and I said, build me a LinkedIn roster. Because I'd previously made one like this here, where you basically paste in your profile. Oops. So if I go to me here, I can just like copy and paste this whole thing. And then just come over and paste in my profile. Give me a savage roast. Roast my profile. And then it will use the Gemini API key to give me this. So you link to a profile, raise like a robot. Wrote a resume after binge watching a more facial cinema. <laughs> That's absolutely shocking, man. Oh. Anyway, so that, that's how I felt when this originally worked. If you're wondering why, I've just suddenly got such a, a tan and stuff. It's because I had some weird lighting setting on loom. Anyway, so back to here. This is what Gemini created, which I thought was like impressively underwhelming at first. But I went and clicked this Add Gemini Features. So... Let's see, because it kept messing stuff up, blah, blah, blah. So then I got it to add the Gemini features, and it's got this. Get the LLM's Savage Row. So this button says your profile text to high caliber LLM, right? So previously then it must have just been using some case switch statement or something. And then it generates a professional rewrite. Interesting. So let me paste everything in here, and we'll generate LLM Roast. Analyzing corporate toxicity. So if this works well, I'll be impressed. Because originally I wasn't impressed at all, but I don't think it used the Gemini API key. So look, tells me absolutely nothing. You're spearheading, blah, blah, blah. Without a single quantifiable achievement, you're just there. Oh, that is well rough. You want to drive value, show me being a not a word salad. Well, fair enough. And then if we run a quick buzzword report. That must have been what it was doing previously before it integrated Gemini. Um, yeah, it's checking buzzwords and then length, constructive takeaway, which is pretty cool. Let's generate a professional rewrite and we'll see if it will do that here. Um, but actually, I'm pretty impressed with this with this working straight out the gate um, with using those Gemini features. Um, let me see, blah, blah, blah. And there we go. Hey, that's pretty cool, actually. I forgot we made this one. Let me add some stuff. Cherry, tomatoes, that's fine. Whoa, I can't even see it. Add some cherry tomatoes. 
Is it going to add to the list? Why is that taking so long? There we go. Oh, it's gone and generated damage. That is cool. That's why it's taking so long. Interesting. So yeah, this has actually integrated the the stuff. Now let's generate the recipe. Crafting my delicious recipe. What can you make with tofu and cherry towels? It's kind of odd waiting to add more stuff. Let's move it to mobile so I can see it better. There we go. Sunny tofu and sizz tomato sizzle. One of these, one of them. There's some instructions. Boom, and it's supposed to look like this at the end. Hey, that's pretty cool. So before you head on over and use Google Gemini, one thing I wanted to just briefly say about it is that I always keep worrying, right, that, let me show you a little visual of this, that you have like these LLMs, right, and now these LLMs are just LLMs, so it's your ChatGPT, your Gemini, etc. And then you have people who make companies, right, company one, company two, company three, and these are for features, so like this is for, you know, app development, this company specialises in web development, this company specialises in whatever, code documentation or something, right? Whatever it is. Now, these specific companies are going to be tailored featuredly, or fe they will tailor their features to the specific use case, right? But the problem here is now that the LLMs which are required for these to power are starting to then try their hand at, like, moving into that realm more sophisticatedly. So we have... For example, your websites and your mobile ones for these here. Well, they're basically just going, oh, let's just scoop up this portion of the market. So that's the worrying possibility of the future. But the thing that I do continually see is I think because of the resources required and maybe that's just at the focus, maybe. I don't know. I couldn't tell you their motivation. But basically, they see these app and website generator ones and stuff like that that they are actually worthwhile if they're specialised to your specific use case because they focus only on people who are building apps. They're building features and stuff just for those. And it's like a brand, it's like a flavour, it's like a style that you can really enjoy. For example, I don't really personally like building in Google Gemini. It feels there's something weird. I just, I just don't like it. It's clunky or something. There's something about it I don't like. Um, whereas like a few other different builders that I've tried, I, I, I do really enjoy. If you have any preferred ones, let me know in the comments below. I'm always looking to try new ones because I do think that although they're kind of the same, maybe they're all using Gemini, for example, but they feel different. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Go and check out Google AI Studio. Let me know anything you've built. Share the links to it. Deploy them. Send me them to try. Um, anyway, until next time, I'll see you later. Take care.